Hi crafty friends, today we'll be making this super cute Santa shelf topper using a wooden chopping board that you can get from Pound Shop or Dollar Tree. Some white paint, napkin and ribbons to create a beautiful Christmas ornament. So first off we're going to prep the board by removing the sticker and the top tip is if you use a hair dryer or a heat gun the sticker comes off in one. And if there's any residue left, you can use some hand sanitizer to remove it. Next up, we're going to paint our board white and you could use gesso or white paint. And once that's all nice and bright and white, we are going to decoupage our beautiful Santa napkin on top. Just make sure you've peeled all the layers of your napkin so you just have one ply left. And we were kindly gifted this beautiful, cute Santa napkin from the lovely Samantha VI Crafting as part of some Happy Mail. So thank you, Samantha. It's been perfect for this project. So we've applied the mix of PVA glue and water and we're going to lay down our napkin on top, trying not to get any bubbles or creases. But don't worry, our top tip is to use a page protector or a poly pocket as we call it here in the UK, or a piece of plastic. And if you put that over the top of your napkin and just gently smooth out any of those bubbles or wrinkles, and this will just give your project a nicer finish. And you can also iron your project by covering it with a piece of parchment paper and using your iron to get a nice smooth finish. So once you're happy with the results, we're just going to dry that off with our heat gun as we were in a bit of a rush today. And once it's all dry, we're going to grab our trusty nail file and just buff away the excess pieces of napkin. And you could use a piece of sanding paper if you don't have a nail file handy. And this just gives your project a nice neat finish and it's quick and easy. Next up, we've grabbed some different size glitters from our stash and some tacky glue and it's time to give Santa a bit of Christmas sparkle. So we've lined out his brim of his hat using this tacky glue. And this one's great because it has a fine nozzle on top. So we were able to outline his hat perfectly. And we're also going to do the fur trim on Santa's boots and the cuffs of his jacket as well. And we're going to use the fine iridescent glitter from Crafter's Companion for this stage. And it comes in a shaker bottle. So you can just sprinkle that over the top. Once you're happy with the coverage, just tap off the excess and leave that to dry. And Santa's already looking a lot more Christmassy. And you can let us know in the comment section below. Have you tried decoupage? Is it something you enjoy doing? And have you ever upcycled one of these charcuterie boards from the pound shop? We'd love to hear from you. So once that first layer of glitter's dried, we're going to grab our glue again. And this time for Santa's pom-pom on his hat, we're going to use a slightly chunkier iridescent glitter just to give that little bit of contrast. And we've applied the napkin, the Santa napkin to both sides of our board. So both sides have been painted white, the napkin applied and the glitter applied to the design. And on one side, we also added some extra glitter at Santa's feet for snow, as you can see here. And we've added this beautiful tartan and red double bow to the top with a beautiful Christmas bell because we always need those little jingle bells. And to seal the project entirely, We've used some glitter sealant spray from Crafter's Companion and it gives the most beautiful iridescent shine in the sunlight. And this make has been part of the open collaboration Jingle Booze 24 hosted by Alex at Bullet For My Snail Mail where you can make anything Halloween or Christmas related all year round. Just share it and use the hashtag. A huge thank you for watching today. Please like, subscribe and ring that bell. Until next time, 
Happy crafting!